Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Make a general round of reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. by the book so according to take action in the proper way paying attention to the details that may be involved in a particular situation you know or a desire to do things in some kind of an ideal way maybe you have set clear your goals for yourself and now you know what steps you need to take in order to move closer and closer to the outcome. So this can be a positive uh, mindset, a positive approach to take. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I love the by the book uh, Oracle Guidance because it's truly an encouragement to pay attention to the small details that can make the difference. Here we go. Three of Cups, Four of Swords and Eight of Cups. So we are leaving something behind, possibly a cycle that um, may have been even um, particularly challenging, overwhelming, especially on an energy level. The positive thing is offered by the Four of Swords, because after the closing point that we can find in the Ten of Swords, there is healing that is crucial, of course, but at the same time, um, some kind of desire to embrace a quiet moment in order to think things straight you know gaining information gaining knowledge seeking even um, very useful introspection you know in order to um, take notice of the things that may have been involved in the previous cycle this is um, heavy energy of course the kind of sorts but there is always um, a new dawn on the horizon so new opportunities will present themselves moving forward an energy about moving forward is all also offered by the um, eight of cups these men after a very well thought uh, decision basically is ready to embrace the journey ready to go all out on an adventure leaving behind indeed experiences or situations that couldn't fulfill his heart and soul there is a brave decision involved you know this man is ready to pursue his own emotional fulfillment a desire to experience joyful times moving forward and the joyful times are offered again by the energy coming from the Three of Cups. Now, I am called to um, leave on the table basically the um, possible scenario about the fact that the previous ending may be related to situations uh, where um, too many people may have been involved in the mix. At the same time, um, we can consider the most positive uh, vibration offered by the Three of Cups as a desire to leave behind the struggles coming from the previous uh, Ten of Swords energy in order to move towards opportunities that can um, truly be a source of happiness, light-hearted energies and uh, joy shared with uh, the people that some of you at least may truly care about and vice versa so this is 
quite a process, meaning that there is a crucial evaluation involved in the leaving behind of something that was not a source of satisfaction. So let's go and clarify this combination, guys. Let's find out a little bit more about it. Maybe the previous situation, the one that um, has found the closing point with the Ten of Swords energy, um, was some, some circumstance without the by the book energy that can be uh, quite meaningful for some of you, you know, doing things in the proper way with the right mindset. And maybe it was unbalanced for uh, that very reason. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, King of Wands, and the Nine of Swords bottom of the deck. So, uh, not exactly uh, surprised to see the Five of Swords because um, considering the um, possible scenario lingering towards the um, third party situation for some of you there was ego involved because the five of swords for me is an ego driven energy a source of discomfort and we can see the nine of wands the wounded warrior but also the nine of swords that basically goes along with the ten of swords from the other deck so a couple of things about the five of swords this is an energy again where someone wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter it is possible that this reading is about some of you guys that um, were called to deal with some individuals that um, may have been ego driven constantly uh, involved in uh, petty fights you know pointless arguments that basically um, were not helpful in order for the connection to develop in a healthy way. And this vibration may have been related also to a scenario where other people may have been involved. In the Five of Swords we have also the factor that allows basically the people surrounding these men with all the swords to remove from the situation leaving the man behind whatever you say stay alone and this is the point about this reading guys someone has decided to leave behind a situation that basically was not going anywhere yes it was quite a challenge it was overwhelming um constantly draining energies the wounded warrior is someone that has gone through the ringer basically but at the same time he is very brave because he has persevered and he has endured through the challenges and because of that he has learned quite a lot of lessons about himself and about the journey this combination four of swords and nine of wands it's positive by itself because it's about a person that has gone through quite a lot of experiences but at the same time has taken a significant moment to think about the situations that the person has had the chance to experience basically and major lessons were learned this basically was the key to implement a beautiful king of wands energy fiery energy in order to take action in a proactive and very driven way this king is a leader because he is ready to set an example in the eyes of those that may look at him he is ready to jump off the throne in order to go after his goals the desires that he has set in a very clear way 
in his mind and because of that he is ready to take all the necessary steps in order to achieve them and this is the point that we were sharing about the by the book energy the decision to leave behind possibly a connection or a situation that for some of you maybe is work related but it is still a source or was a source of um, discomfort you know that basically has convinced some of you to cut the cords with the past leave the challenges behind and move towards something different because there was a touch of anxiety you know involved in the mix but this king is a powerful ally on an energy level meaning that some of you um, have truly had the chance to embrace a new mindset moving forward kind of knowing exactly what you are called to do in order to not just leave behind the previous situation that may have been um, a set of multiple ways of doing things that didn't sit properly with you but also a choice to pursue the things that can truly be a source of happiness you know and joyful times for yourself and then even an opportunity to embrace um, new chapters you know new chances moving forward more aligned with the things that you desire for yourself so this is quite a flow of energies let's see where these are going guys i hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon Bye.